So a question I've been getting a lot lately from my clients, even from friends and family is, how will the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 impact my taxes? So I figured if just the people in my circle have this question, there's probably a lot more people that have this question. So I decided to make this video. So the short answer is, I don't think it's gonna impact your international taxes directly so much, right? There's nothing in the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 that is really gonna change the way your international income and assets are taxed or reported. But the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 does have $80 billion in additional IRS funding. Now the IRS has said that they're gonna use this to hire 87,000 new employees, most of which are gonna be auditors. So there's gonna be a massive uptick in audits. Now, a lot of you who watch this channel might not know this, but in my former life, I actually represented taxpayers who were in trouble with the IRS. And one of the things that I learned during that experience is that the IRS really focuses its efforts where they can not only maximize the collection of tax, but where they can maximize the collection of penalties that they impose. And nowhere is that more true than when it comes to international tax. The forms that you need to file in order to report your foreign income and assets carry massive penalties. Now, not only do they carry massive penalties, but if you fail to file certain forms, the statute of limitations on your entire tax return stays open forever, which means that if you fail to file one of the earmarked international forms, the IRS could come back 20 years from now and audit you and impose penalties, which would be a horrible situation. So here's a list of the forms that carry an unlimited statute of limitations. I'm just gonna run down them quickly. I'm not gonna do an in-depth explanation of each form, but we start off with form 5471. This is the information return of US persons with respect to certain foreign corporations, right? So generally, if you own 10% or more of a foreign corporation, or you sell shares uh, of 10% or more in a foreign corporation, you need to file this form. Or if you're in control of a foreign corporation or the corporation's a controlled foreign corporation, meaning that it's more than 50% owned by U.S. shareholders. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. The links are below. Then there's Form 5472. Now, 5472 is an information return of a 25% foreign-owned U.S. corporation or a foreign corporation engaged in a U.S. trade or business. So this is something that a U.S. corporation would file that is 25% or more owned by a non-resident alien entity or individual or a foreign corporation engaged in a U.S. trade or business. It also needs to be filed by single-member U.S. LLCs that have a foreign owner. We move on to form 3520, annual return to report transaction with foreign trusts and receipt of certain foreign gifts. If you transferred assets to a foreign trust, you received a distribution from a foreign trust, if you're considered the owner of any part of a foreign trust, you become an owner of a foreign trust by transferring assets to it, you're considered to own the assets that, that you transferred to the foreign trust, then you need to file form 3520. Also, if you receive gifts from a foreigner, uh, in excess of 100,000 during the year, then you also need to file Form 3520. Then there's Form 3528, annual information return of a foreign trust with a US owner. So like I said, you become an owner of a foreign trust if you transferred assets to a foreign trust as a US person. So in addition to Form 3520, 3520A needs to be filed. Then you have Form 8938, statement of specified foreign financial assets. This is your FATCA form, right? So this is very similar to your, your FBAR, you need to report ownership in foreign entities, foreign loans that you've given, as well as you know foreign financial accounts like brokerage accounts, bank accounts, things like that. Then there's Form 926, returned by a US transferor of property to a foreign corporation. If you transfer property to a foreign corporation, you need to file Form 926. Then we have Form 8865, return of US persons with respect to certain foreign partnerships. So in certain situations, like if you own 10% more of a foreign partnership, while it's more than 50% owned by US persons, or you acquire 10% or more in a foreign partnership, or you dispose of 10% or more in a foreign partnership, then you need to file Form 8865. 
Moving on, we have Form 8621. So this is to report passive foreign investment companies. So this is essentially if you own foreign mutual funds, you'd need to file Form 8621, information returned by a shareholder of a passive foreign investment company or qualified electing fund. And then finally, there's Form 8858, which is information return of US persons with respect to foreign disregarded entities and foreign branches. So this form typically gets filed if you own a foreign LLC that's treated as a disregarded entity, then you need to file this form to report it. So all of these forms, if you fail to file them or you file them, but they're materially wrong, then the statute of limitations on your tax return stays open forever. And in addition to that, some of these forms carry penalties of like $10,000 a month. And for example, with a 3520, they can carry a penalty of up to 35% of the assets that you transferred to a foreign trust or up to 35% of the distributions you receive from a foreign trust. The penalties, like I said, are extremely harsh in addition to this unlimited statute of limitation. Like I said, I don't think the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 is really gonna directly impact your international taxes other than the fact that there's gonna be many more new auditors and they're gonna be out looking for ways to collect revenue. The US is broke after all. We've been helping people get in compliance and stay in compliance with their international tax matters for almost two decades. So if you need any help, you know, figuring out what your tax reporting obligations are or getting back into compliance in the event you've been out of compliance, please feel free to contact us at info at esquiregroup.com or on the web at www.esquiregroup.com. Thank you.